Guys, what's up? I'm here with this disgusting pile of solidified pig fat. This is George, the pendejo who I said was going to be in one of my videos. And lo and behold, he's in this one. <laughs> now, in honor of yesterday, which was our dear sister's birthday, not that bitch Charlie's son, Jasmine. Oh, God, the stories we have with her. You want to take it off, George? Sure, man. <laughs> and this one's funny for you guys watching. If you know Jesus, he's unwilling to die. <laughs> <laughs> in, in my, uh, my uh, okay, okay, just uh, just so so, I haven't told him that, but now that since you let it out, just tell him. Okay, so the thing with him is, as the record stands, it's been seven deaths. Seven near deaths. Near deaths. Two where, official ones. Two officials, thank you. Two officials, and the rest are all just, he decides to go and get my hopes up and then come back. That's how much of an asshole he is. But this one holds a special place, place in, in our, our hearts. hearts. James, show me a fucking soda with a piquete. Cool. A uh, piquete means a shot of liquor, in case you didn't know. Yeah, it does. And for in this case, for us, it's more like a half a bottle of tequila and like a little bit of coke. A little bit of coke, yeah. <laughs> but this one <coughs> has been um, placed in our hearts, mostly because it's our sister's birthday, like he said. It was, which was yesterday. Which was happy yesterday. birthday, Jess, if you're watching. Yeah, happy birthday. I would say dear sister, but you've been gone so long that it doesn't really matter. Um, But... Not only that, it's getting close to that time of year, October. I remember, it was October, wasn't it? Yes, it was in October. It was October. <laughs> and as usual, this is one of my favorite stories because, well, it took place in a pool. God knows what possessed us to go to the pool. <laughs> it was the middle of fucking October. October. The Cold wind was, it was at least 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It was a heated pool. So it was gonna be warm in there. Supposedly. Supposedly, yeah. Turns out it was fucking hot. My way was just. What? <laughs> I didn't even know they had a storage place. The thing is, we went. Of course, we got dragged by there by our other brother, who we so desperately want to kill. Kill. We don't really talk to him that much anymore. So. Um, I believe that day it was the whole family that went. Uh, no, Alvaro didn't go that time. Alvaro went the time before. Okay, the so... One where, the one where he was like, what are you doing? <laughs> All right. Uh, so it was just... It was just you, me, Chino, Jasmine, Jasmine and, and Voldemort. And Voldemort. He who must not be named. For those who haven't read Harry Potter. Pretty sure they all have, or at least they've seen at least one of the fucking movies. <laughs> okay, well, yeah. He's referencing all of them. But, um... We were told, again, that this was going to be a warm pool. So we didn't think much of it. You know, we were stupid. I mean, some of us are still stupid. This was four years ago, mind you. I was, what, 17? No. <laughs> yeah, 17. 17. Um, so we went. Um, no, 19. What about 19? Now, Jasmine was wearing, if I remember correctly, a nice swimming suit. Memory serves. Was it the, the Hawaiian one with the flowers and shit? Yes, the blue one. Yeah. The blue one. <laughs> yes. The blue one. Amazing how we put that kind of detail into our sister. But not the problem. Well, actually, it's not that we were looking at that. It's she was the only one wearing a swimsuit. We all just fucking wore our shorts. <laughs> That's another thing. Shorts in the fucking fall in Texas. <laughs> we were out of our minds. But this this is just funny because I jumped in, and like he says, I could I never knew that my was had a special compartment inside of my body. They had a storage unit. Then he jumped in, then Chino jumped in, then David and Jasmine jumped in. And, well, everything was fine for a while. You know, we swam, we were having a good time. Me and him got high. That we did. No, and we didn't get high. We just, just got a little buzz. But by the time we went to his house, it was gone. Nearly so were you. Fuck <laughs> you. But everything was fine until we got out of the water. That's when shit got bad. Started getting a headache. Like It started a, off with a headache. A minor headache. Then escalated to a migraine. By the time we got to my house, he was burning up in fever. I had a fucking fever of 106. I thought it was funny as shit. 
not everybody else in the group agreed, but I was like, hey. Jasmine almost left the shit out of you, I think. Because I was laughing. <laughs> you were dying and I was laughing. Ugh. In my defense, I was in my full rights to laugh. It was your house, and I was dying on your bed, with fucking porn playing right next to me <laughs> on your computer. <laughs> We were all twisted. Jasmine, what the fuck is wrong with Jasmine wanting to watch porn with us at the time? Remember that shit? I think Necrophilia just gives her that little tweak. Like, John, I had just, like, almost died. John, if you're watching this, buy a zombie suit. Yeah. My sister will climb you like a tree. I mean, if she doesn't already tie you up and fuck you in the ass <laughs> with a dildo, like, you know. Because we both know how you two ended up fucking. You mean rape. Rape. Our, our dear that's, cuñado. That's, that's another story for the Our dear cuñado. That's... Well, they'll come later, guys. Hopefully he'll be here when we tell that... Jasmine, lovely, too. ...lovely tale. Jasmine, too. I'm so I'm sorry. <sighs> shut the fuck <laughs> up. You're not the one that had to experience that, all right? Just shut the fuck up and keep on telling the story. So, by the time we get to my house, guys, this guy's burning up in fever, talking to himself. Um, Being the good brother that I, that I am... I offered to help. Okay, I offered to help just because I didn't want a dead body on my bed. That's really weird. Mostly because I'm pretty sure right after he died, he would just shit my bed just to... <laughs> I forgot that people do that. They shit themselves. <laughs> and so I went to the medicine cabinet in my house, and I brought out some fever pills. Tylenol. Was it Tylenol? I believe so. They were red. I remember that. They were red. And they were circular. Yeah. But the thing was, guys, that when I took them out, I um, forgot to read that little number at the bottom of the bottle. <laughs> Dear old expiration date. Fucking medicine was three years expired. <laughs> the fucking thing expired in 2011. No. Yeah, 2011. And so... Who the fuck keeps medicine in, the, in their fucking cabinet for three years after the expiration date? Mexicans. Mexicans, yeah. Look at my Porosa. It was expired in 1970 and it works like a charm. But the thing was, Jasmine likes to play nurse. When she was trying to get his fever down it's with some water... It's a good thing water. she doesn't want to be a nurse. That bitch almost killed me. <laughs> she was trying to take his fever down with some wet cloth and I brought her the medicine. And I told her, Jasmine, these pills are 500. They're milli- a thousand, fool. They were a thousand. They were a thousand. Okay. I saw the box. <laughs> they were a thousand milligrams, apparently. I told him to give him two. Yeah, because because I used to pop a lot of pills back then, and I and I pretty much got an immunity to a lot a lot of pills actually, not just like allergy pills or headache pills. So 500 milligrams, 220 milligrams, they don't even fucking phase me. A thousand milligrams just puts a dent in it. So And so I told her give it to give her give him two. I didn't turn my, my bag for more than two minutes. Two minutes. Exactly. Two minutes. <laughs> I turned back around. This man had gone from almost dying to nearly complete <laughs> I look at Jasmine, who has a very satisfied look on her face. <coughs> And I ask, how many did you give him? She replies with no contempt whatsoever, four. Is this bitch right? tried to kill me! At this point, I made a very, 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 very wise decision and decided to take him home. No, but before that happened, you know what? Remember what she said? Oh, we gotta give him two more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> bitch! <laughs> she tried to stop you with six. <laughs> That would have been a very interesting coroner's <laughs> report. <laughs> 6,000 milligrams? <laughs> what, was he trying to cook meth? <laughs> uh, but yeah. It was Sudafed! It was Su- I remember! It was Sudafed! <laughs> the fuck is wrong with her? She was trying to help. We were trying to help. I'm pretty sure she didn't want her to fucking rape me. <laughs> that too. I mean, she raped John. Oh, poor little John. Got rest his butt. <sighs> sad, sad. It really is sad. But yeah, guys, that's that's the story of 
how this one <laughs> nearly got killed by our loving sister. And that wasn't even the last time. Last time was that fucking accident where I just... My heart stopped while I was going to the mall. On 249. Just... Poop. I missed that one, didn't I? Yeah, you weren't there. You were working. I regret it. You were working, uh... I know you were working at Walmart, but, uh... You were working at Midnight Shift, were you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why. But... <clears throat> This fucker has yet to experience what I've gone through. With her. With her. May God save my soul from ever going through all of that. Oh, no, your bitch ass is going through that. I had to sit through all of her bullshit about her fucking wedding day night. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I really want her to be right here next to me. Confirming that she told me that shit. Jasmine, I thought I was a sick fuck. <laughs> until you tell me what you did on your wedding night. Right on, cowboy. Or cowgirl in that sense. Ugh. Stop picturing <laughs> it! Open your fucking eyes! See? Now this fucker's fantasizing about you. <laughs> Not in a good way either. No, I feel bad for John. She probably broke, her, broke his hip or dislocated something. For all we know, that man's probably missing a testicle. He's not your brother, all right? <laughs> we don't know what our sister has put him through. For all we know, he's probably strapped up to some wall right now with a carry, a cat battery, a cat battery. Ah. Car battery, <laughs> dumbass. So, like, you know how it's torturing? <laughs> All his nipples are red and shit. <laughs> yeah, but... Why well, you hear lullabies in the background? You hear what? Lullabies in the background. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, but yeah. <coughs> That'll be it for this video. It was just a video remembering a not-so-happy-slash-happy -happy memory with or Jasmine. In other words, one time she tried to kill me. Or fuck me. I, I don't really know. We didn't know where she was going with We didn't know where she was. I think she wanted to fucking rape me for me because she didn't want to watch porn. <laughs> well, technically. She wanted to watch hentai tentacle porn. Yeah. So, we don't know if she was after you or the Asian at that time. Or she could have probably just tried both. I don't know. For all we know, we could have ran a bukkake on that. <laughs> Stop <laughs> trying to picture it! Fuck! Well, actually, I was picturing uh, the Brothers Gatsby movie. Oh, <laughs> the Brothers Gatsby! <laughs> the elephant one! <laughs> like, I feel like watching that movie again. <laughs> Alright, you motherfuckers. <laughs> we'll see you as well in the next video. This is fucking George, and I don't know when they'll be in the next video, but. Probably seven months. Probably from now. seven months from now, yeah, because this fucker comes every. He's, he's like fucking herpes. He comes every <laughs> six months. Not really, but he just shows up whenever he wants to. Just like herpes. <laughs> so, until the next one. Later, fuckers.